Welcome to another video from SiteTech Inner Mountain, Earthworks training videos. In this video, I want to show you another option that you could use a measure mode for. Uh, in this scenario, I'm digging a footing out in front of me. I'm not using a design. So what I'm going to show you here is in the shovel with the gear, if you go up to the top here to job setup, I've got the project that I'm on for the calibration, but I've got it set to depth and slope. I'm going to just use a reference point that I've transferred over with a laser to dig a footing down. So we're going to dig the footing, but then I'm going to show you measure mode to get a slope right. So in here, at the very bottom where it says extra line work, you can still show the design line work if you want. It just won't have the cutter fill for the, the design. But you can either do none selected and have a blank screen, or you can use that as a reference. I'm going to leave it on as a reference. I'm going to hit apply. And as I come out, you can see right off the bat that I've got the design where the project is. So you can see that I'm digging a footing for this loading dock right here. But I'm going to go ahead and actually do a bench. And we're going to dig this uh, four and a half feet down from an elevation that I have. So this rock right here, I've already set an elevation to that. And I know that I need to dig four and a half feet below that. So at the bottom here, there's some icons. This one is the bench heading. Bench heading doesn't really matter if you're going to leave everything perfectly flat. But we benched head just so it's fresh. And then this icon right here that has the bucket from the side and 0.0. .0. If I've sat down where I want to sit down, I'm going to bench and zero out right there. So now I have zero on the left side of my cutting edge because I have my red carrot on the left, or on the left side. So I'm zeroed out there. I'm going to come up to my vertical offset, and I'm going to punch in a 4.50, and we'll see how close we are to the very bottom here. 4.50, and I'm going to make that a minus, so it's below. I'm going to hit apply. And then we're going to swing over and go down into the bottom of the footing here and see how close I am. Looks like we still have about three tenths to go. On the left side so what I'm gonna do is just establish a grade but I'm not gonna get too crazy out on the floor because I want to show you measure mode so once I've established grade go ahead and check it on grade now, we have a scenario where this slope here to the left, we've got a footing dug, but we're on a job site where we have a certain soil type and we need to lay it back to a one-to-one, -one, a two-to-one. Yeah, you can eyeball it and get it close and go out and check, but I wanted to show you measure mode. One, what you can do is put your bucket tip, the left tip right down at the bottom there, go into the shovel with the gear, go down to measure mode in that menu, and using the left tip, there again, you could do left or right. I've got it set to slope, which is going to give me rise and run. So this is going to help me establish where I need to cut to. So it's not a guessing game. But then when I'm done, I can verify that it's good. So let's cut this at a one-to-one, -one, for example. So left side of the tip, I'm going to hit original. Now what I'm going to do is drag up to the very top, which one, just to show you, it's going to tell me how far that is from there to there. So 416 from where my tip is cutting edge to the bottom. But now as I drag over to the side, I can actually run that till I get to a one to one ratio. So you can see right there, that's the one to one ratio. Out here to the left of my tip, if I went out to two to one, I could establish where a two to one is. So if I needed to dig that, or I needed to dig a one and a half to one, I could go right there, one, one, 50. I mean, the old school way is, you know, a one-to-one -one is this, if you're four and a half feet down on the ground and you come up about four and a half feet, it's going to be over about four and a half feet. So from that original point, if I go over about four and a half, pretty close to four and a half right there, I'll go over just a little bit more. It's a little bit touchy. So see how I've gone over four and a half? Well, that's basically one-to-one. -one. There's a couple different ways to do this. But what this will allow me to do is now I know exactly where to scratch it out at, right? So I can come here and be like, okay, there's my one-to-one. -one, so I'm going to start cutting and keep an eye on that. And now I know exactly where to start my slope. So I'm going to go ahead and fit, hit finish on that. 
and I'm going to spend just a couple seconds to hurry and knock this bank down and just rough in a one-to-one one one slope now that I've established where to actually cut to. So I've gotten to this point. I'm going to check my grade one more time. And you can see the bottom, basically within a tenth. We'll go ahead and clean that up. So now that I've got the slope right there, I can feel confident that I've hit grade right here. I've hit perfectly zero on the left tip. I can go back and verify one more time in measure mode. We go to measure mode. I'm on my left tip. I've got it set down there at the bottom corner. Hit original. And I'm going to slide up to where I cut it about right there and there it is one to one if not just a hair further so if I come back to about there there's one to one if I needed to shave it cut it a little further you name it whatever now I can go ahead and just clean that slope up once I feel like it's good Go down, we'll hit done, because I know it's established. And uh, check grade, left side of my tip, perfect, right there. So that's a training video from Sight Taker Mountain on measure mode and a little bit of depth and slope.